Let's move on to case study number 12. Your company is in dire straits. Sales are down 50% due to stiff price competition. Dividends are falling, and your stockholders are demanding that you step down as chairman of the board. Now, here's your problem. How do you rally the board of directors to your side and stave off impending bankruptcy? Reynolds? I'll have my secretary get back to you on that one. Ellsworth, how would you get the board on your side? Bribe someone. Sit down, Ellsworth. Reginald, what would you do? What would I do? Simple. I'd float a rumor that we're the object of a takeover bid. And as soon as our stock went up, I'd sell. That's not only unethical, Reginald, it's illegal. I'm only 12. I can't be held legally responsible. Hmm, good point. <laughs> Rich, are you and Cuthbert passing notes again? Um, no, sir. Cuthbert? One word to say to you, pork bellies. So what do you think, Rich? I think all we ever talk about is money. We should be having fun. Money is fun. All I'm saying is, I'm wondering if you guys can come over this weekend, you know, hang out. Hang out? Yeah, like normal kids. You no, know, you're really acting weird, Richie. Anyway, no can do. I promised my dad I'd go to Tokyo with him for a hostile takeover. Ellsworth? Oh, sorry, trust these meeting. Ow! Watch your rear, Ellsworth. First rule of defense. This is a cappuccino. I asked for a decaf cafe latte, you incompetent imbecile. If you can't do the job, you... First rule of defense, Rich. Always watch your rear. <laughs> 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 